Operator? Operator. Hello. Uh, How may I help? Yes, thank you, Operator. I'd like tube 67606, please. That's my dad. Hi, I'm Billy Holloway. And this is about that terrible shift my father brought his boss home for dinner. Of course, I had problems of my own that shift. But then, we all did. Hello, Miriam. Uh, listen, dear, I know how you hate it when I bring uh, unexpected guests home for dinner, but... Uh, yeah, yes. Yes, dear, dinner. But, but you'll never guess who. My new boss. Miriam, this could be our chance to reach out and grab that brat new. Opportunity is knocking here, I feel it. My promotion is just around the bend. Operator. Hello? Operator. Henry. Henry. Once upon a time in a different oh. place, lived some runners in the human race. They weren't quite the same as you and me. Their family fell out of a different tree. <laughs> Henry Hollowhead is a daddy dude. Working all shit just to pump home the food. United Umbilical is where he works. The best meter is this part of Earth. Miriam's the lady of his dreams. She cooks and sews, keeps the domicile clean. She picks Henry up when the spirits get low. When things want to stop, she's the one that says go. Now Bud is the rapid food of their loins. Plays a little music to pick up some coin. His pet chicken joker sings like a bird while Bud plays the strangest music you ever heard. Cindy, the daughter, just turned 14. Got a woman's engine in the girl machine. Her hormones are screaming adult desires. And soften and jelly is fuel for the fire. Hollow head last. Billy the boy, he's got a dog named Spike, he got a splash spray toy. He thinks on his feet and he keeps things cool. He may be young, but it's nobody fool. Oh, and how's all it the going kids here? on the edge. Oh, it's nice and quiet for a change. I was just trying to think what I fixed for dinner. Yes? Yes, I remember when you told me about him. Oh, Henry, that's wonderful news. After this shift? Oh, honey. I know he's your new boss, and we've got to make a good impression, but, 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 but the house is a mess, and I, I, I have no idea what to fix. Hmm. I'll have to get the children to help. I know. I want this promotion just as badly as you do. Yes. Yes. It'll be just fine, dear. You'll see. Yes, dear. I love you, too. All right. Bye. Oh, Henry, one of these days you're going to drive me right to the edge. I don't even know where to start. Ah! Oh, Billy, what are you doing here? Same thing I'm always doing this time, coming home. Well, make some noise next time. You gave me a fright. Was that Dad? Yes, and he's got me very worried right now. He's bringing his new boss home for dinner so we can try and get that new promotion. And I'm going to need you to be on your very best behavior, Billy. Billy? What happened to your face? My, my face? Why, Billy Hollowhead, you have got a black eye. I do? Yes, you do. How did it happen? Well, I don't know. Billy, who gave it to you? I don't remember. Well, I guess we're going to have to let your father get to the bottom of this. Oh, yes, ma'am. And in the meantime, we can't very well have you meet your father's new boss with a black eye now, can we? I could go over to Joey's. Absolutely not. I need you here to help me, and besides, I'm sure your father is going to want you here for dinner. Come on, Mom. It's just a black guy. 
Not even a really black, black eye. You don't need to use that. Come here. Mom, I really don't want this. Billy? Mom, I really don't like this. Shush. Hey, my eye feels fine now. Stop being childish. I almost forgot the most important thing. just taking care of Billy's black eye. Say, Joey, you wouldn't happen to know anything about how he got that, would you? Well, I might be able to come up with a nice snack for you both. OK, it was Johnny. You promised, Joey! He said that Billy's dad was nothing but a spineless pipe polisher. And Billy stood up to him, but not for long. I see. <laughs> Why'd you have to tell, Joey? I guess I'm just not as brave as you are. Now, see, Billy, that wasn't so bad, was it? I guess you boys have earned two of my specials. Great. Good. Two specials. Yeah. Fine. Coming right up. Got it all. The mom, the room, all my specials. I get my flush in. Game. 
down by for maximum propulsion. No way! You gotta start the splatter panels. Come on, that's beats for baby. Super fluid idea. invited his new boss over for dinner tonight and, and I... you thought i would stay home and help you out right well bud i, I oh, would... and dad promised i could play at the party uh, all right but you send your brother down here to me right now
You are really gonna get it this time. Cause mom, she wants to see you right now. Of course, maybe I just better tell her why you can't come. <laughs> You're not gonna tell her, are you? Why not? Unless you can make it worth my while. What do I have to do? Feed grandpa for my next three turns. Three turns? That's not fair! Four then. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Okay, okay. See? I told you we'd get in trouble. Start cleaning up. over for dinner, and I, I need your help. What is this, Mom, a cranium fog? You can't do this to me. Dad said I could go to the party. What? Uh, that is for dinner. Cindy, can't you at least be here when your father gets home? I mean, I need all the help I can get, and I, I can't even hear myself think with that racket going on. Oh. Slow, slow, Mom. I'll tell Bud to choke it. You know the words, right? So let's flow. Okay. Hey, sis. Not bad. Still got some on your neck. Billy! Never heard your mother cuss before. Billy, could you run an errand for your mom? Uh, sure. Uh, where? When? Billy, what is this all over your... Yuck! Every time you and Joey get together, something bad happens. I want you to change this shirt right now and get back here immediately, or you will spend some time in the punitration box. Sure. No, no problem. OK, right on it. Well? What next? Connie? Connie? Pick it up. Connie? Connie? Hello? Hi, Miss Squeamish. Is Connie there? Just a minute, dear. Connie, what took you so long? Mm. Guess who asked me to the party? No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Okay, I'll tell you. Oliver. Yes, Oliver Digits. <laughs> well, of course he's a pathetic pipe seat, but he's perfect. He's about the only two wood my parents would let me go with. Yeah, it's great. So what are you wearing? Ah! You bought that flotation skirt? Oh, with what? And your mom went for it? <laughs> so I can borrow it, right? Oh, Connie, we're going to have so much fun. Billy, 
my tubes are stopped up again. So I want you to take this list to Station Master Babalax and either get them to unblock those lines or fill this list from what they've got on hand. Right. Now, you know that I wouldn't send you to the pumping station unless I absolutely had to, don't you? Yes, ma'am. So I want you to promise me that you and Joey will not get into any trouble there. Okay, I promise. Now get going. Ah, ah, ah! And don't stop anywhere else, boys. Don't worry, Mom. And stay away from the edge! No problem, Mrs. H. Whenever Joey said no problem, I knew we were gonna have one. As we walked to the pumping station, Joey told me about our friend Seymour Lakes. It seems Seymour was playing with a splat spray game, except he got caught using his baby sister. His parents were gonna put him in the punitration box for just about ever. So Seymour ran away. Some people say he fell off the edge. You know, I don't believe in the edge. I think it's just one of those stupid things parents make up. Yeah. yeah. But where'd it go then? I don't know. I heard someone fall off the edge once. You did? Yeah. I was out walking once. And I heard these footsteps coming. And then after a few seconds, a scream that went. Ah! And then nothing. Ooh. Mm, you never told me this story before. You tubal slime! 
Let him get away! Perhaps he ain't planning on stealing anything, are you? Uh-uh. Besides, if you do, you know what'll happen. Yes, yes Station, Station Master, Master Bablock. We won't touch a thing, Station Master Bablock. Damn no. your hatchet, Sundrop. Let's tie your tongue together and I pump you. Suppose your mother thinks it's our fault that her tubes are black. Well, I shan't fix them now, either. Is that that? I see what I can do about this list. softening jelly, dear. <laughs> what all women want with it, Mother. Um, Cindy. <clears throat> Don't you think you're a little too young to be using softening jelly? Mom, I'm 14. Connie's been using it since she was 12. 
And if Connie wanted to jump off the edge, would you, too? Oh, dear. You know I have never forbidden you anything just because I'm your mother and I said so. We've always discussed these things, haven't we? But there are some things in this life that you have to have a certain, well, maturity to handle. Come on, Mom. You treat me like I'm a child. Well, you are a child. Honey, do you know that I had been married to your father for a long time before I'd even tried softening jelly? But, Mom, it's not like that anymore. I mean, I just want to feel nice, like everyone else. This wouldn't have anything to do with Jeff, would it? Jeff who? You know which Jeff I'm talking about. Who are you going to the party with? Oh, Oliver. Oliver? Oliver Digits? Uh-huh. Oh, he is such a nice young man. I should have known your father wouldn't give you permission to go with just anyone. Oh, well. All right. I guess you can use the softening jelly. But in moderation, darling. Don't start feeling too nice. Okay. Thanks, Mom. Delightful domicile, Hollowhead. Hello, dear. Hello. How's everything going? Come on, right up. Oh, uh, I want you to meet the uh, the uh, new head of United Umbilical, Martin uh, Krabnick. Oh, I am so pleased to meet you, Mr. Krabnick, and and and, and congratulations are in order. Oh, well, oh, thank you, Miriam. This is my wife, Miriam. Excuse me. And permit me to say, my dear, that the pleasure is truly all mine. Oh. <laughs> it still is the winner tonight, and I am feeling so good. The boys will jump and shout. Just telling Henry here what a what a comfy little place you have, Miriam. Oh well, we love it. Um, well, I mean, I, I, well, if you'll um, if you'll excuse me, I still have a few more things to uh, uh, pin down in the kitchen. <coughs> Henry. Uh, why don't you make a drink for Mr. Kratnick? Good idea, Miriam. Uh, oh, we've got a rare libation popped in from the uh, mid-outer region that you must try. It's very smooth, as, as, <laughs> as, as the kids say. Mm. And, uh, I will move on the night course Just to see where it leads This time I'll be the real world Just Yes, indeed, Hollowhead. You've got a real, a real homey place here. You've done very well on your salary. Actually, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. I've been meaning to ask you about my Later, salary. Later, Hollowhead. You need to learn timing. <laughs> That's funny. For a meter reader, your timing is rotten. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to uh, jump into it. I'll try to work on my timing. You're right. You don't work on timing, Henry. Timing. Timing is bread in the bone. It's a talent. You've either got it 
Or you don't. Now, look at me, Hollowhead. I've... I've got it. That's why I'm the regional president of United Umbilical Housing Corporation. And thousands, like you, are not timing. Uh, but, uh, Mr. Krabneck, United Umbilical has been run by a long line of Krabnecks. That's right. That's why I'm president now. Timing. Right place at the right time. But, Hollowhead, you've insulted me. I was not merely umbilical born. Don't accuse me of nepotism. I, I, I've got executive skills. I've got a take charge personality. I was born to float to the top. Now, what you're good at, Henry, is metering tubes and that's it. <laughs> Hit it big. What? You haven't eaten a thing. Mom, I gotta float. Don't worry, I'm gonna grab something at the party. Oh, you two little rooters are ripping slugs again? Oh, look, it's Mr. Smooth. Who's there are you gonna pollute now, Mr. Smooth? Hey, cap it, Pine Pipe. I'm flowing right to the top, okay? We, we know, know what floats, floats to the, the top. top. All right, you two. Cut that out. Bye, Mom. Bye, bye. Say, Mom, do you know anything about what happened to Seymour Legs? I know that his parents brought him home from the neighboring tube last shift. Here, Mom. Oh, good. Oh, Billy, you need to go and get cleaned up, honey. And, Joey, you're going to have to run along. We have a guest for dinner. OK. Next time. Tube slime. After a while, we're in bile. Hi, Jeff. I wrote a poem for you. Yeah? You would? OK. I'll do it for you. Whenever I'm with you, my heart seems to burst, like mainline effluvia quenching my thirst. Your lips on mine taste of sweet tuba wine, my body reeking with constant despair. Jeff, do you love me? Jeff, do you care? Let your essence go, take my hand, and let's flow to a place no others would dare. The tube of my dreams, the tube to nowhere. Ah! Oh. Billy! How long have you been standing there? Oh, Jeff, tube of my dreams. Let's flow. Don't ever repeat that to anyone, OK? Only Mom. She'd love to know you got into her stuff. Well, I happen to have her permission. So it doesn't matter if I tell her? Well, I'm going to tell her you were spying. I bet if I tell Mom what I saw, you'll never go anywhere with Jeff. OK, let's just forget everything. No, let's not. Oh, you little? Mom's got to hear this story. Oh, Jeff, your lips on mine make a sweet tube of wine. All right. What do you want from me to keep from opening your big, fat... Tube that goes nowhere, shut, feed, grandpa. Jump off the edge. My next six turns. Uh, Billy, please. No, that's the deal. No ifs, ands, or butt polish. All right. I'll do it. 
<laughs> but you want to know something? You're going to wake up one of these days and find that everything that matters to you has shriveled. Oh. <sighs> like your boyfriends. <clears throat> I think that, uh... There's another problem, Hollowhead. You are always interrupting. Timing is an essential ingredient to growth. You see, it's what's going to make our company grow. You have to know when to flap it and when to cap it. <laughs> That's the tail of the tube in one short squirt. <laughs> I, Hi, Dad. Billy, come over here and meet my new boss, Mr. Kravnik. Um, this is my son, Billy. Well, hello there, Billy. <laughs> um. <laughs> Why, he's a binky little drip off the old glove, isn't he? Uh, he? He was a tube baby, Mr. Grabnack. I'll bet you have trouble with the other kids, right? Henry, could I have a word with you in the kitchen, dear? Uh, certainly, dear. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Grabnack. Your Grabnack. timing's improving, Hollowhead. I was about to ask where the waste chamber is. Oh, down the hall, second orifice to the uh, left. He didn't give me any choice. He just invited himself. He came up to me and he said, Hollowhead, I like knowing more about my employees and I'm going to take you up on that dinner invitation at your place after work. And I and I started to say, but, uh, but oh, but Mr. Krabnick, what uh, what dinner invitation? And he, ju he just started laughing at me. And he said that, uh, that he liked a man who could uh, improvise and, and think on his feet and make snap judgments and 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 and, and uh, i i mean i what could i do it 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 all right henry i understand it's just that i i wasn't prepared i i'm sorry i'll try to do better Oh, dear. I read meters, not men. Why, Henry Hollowhead. You know you are a brilliant man and a great asset to United Umbilical. Mr. Kravnik will see that you're the right man for the job. You just leave the entertaining to me. Oh, there I am. How lucky can a man be? <laughs> oh, oh, about Billy. mother tells me it did have a little trouble. Well, it was really nothing. Son, but fighting you... is always something. Oh, we've talked about fighting before, haven't we? Yeah. And do you remember what we said, son? That violence never solved anything. That's right. And I'm sure Mr. Krabneck here would agree that fighting... Oh, purge, Hollowhead. Let me handle this. 
Come here, Billy. Come on. Now, I'm going to show you something my old man taught me before I... Before he, uh, before he died. Hey, what'd you get on your shirt? <laughs> Deception, son. You got to trick the suckers. Look. <laughs> Up here. <laughs> See how easy that was. Now I'll show you another. Uh, Mr. Krabnick, don't you think you're being just a little too, too... Uh, Meter it, hollow head. I'm doing your boy a favor here. But you're hurting... Ah! Come back here, you yellow striped pipe pot! <laughs> You'd better teach that boy some manners, Hollowhead. You certainly haven't taught him any self-defense. Well, I'm afraid that 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 that, that, that is not our uh, philosophy, Mr. Krabnick. I should have guessed. Stand up. No, well, we, we try to teach the kids to reason with their peers. Stand up. Uh, now, uh, yeah. Mr. Ah. Mr. Krabnick, my wife doesn't allow any roughhousing in the. Uh, in the, in, 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 in the front room. Hello, Head. Uh, Who's this? Um, uh, Cindy, come over here, and, and, and I want you to meet Mr. Krabnick. Mr. Krabnick is my new boss at UU. Mr. Krabnick, this is my daughter, Cindy. Call me Marty, Cindy. Delighted to make your acquaintance, my dear. Nice to meet you, Mr. Krabnick. Now you must call me Marty. Why, all my big girls call me Marty. <laughs> You're looking very, should I say, succulent. S uh, Cindy, don't you think that that dress is just a little too... Too enticing? Um, it, it, too uh, alluring? It, uh, too suggestive? It, uh, yes. Not it... at all. Fathers are the last people to recognize those special womanly feelings, particularly in such a beautiful, fine daughter. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, uh. Marty. Marty, good. So are you all dressed up for someone special? I'm just going to a party with some of my friends. Mm. When the boys get a look at you, they're going to trip over their own tubes. <laughs> Mr. Kravnick, you are such a kidder. Cindy, uh, you better get going now. You don't want to keep your little friends waiting, do you? No, I guess not. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Kraft. Bye, Marty. Get her out of here. Oh, Cindy, I was just going to come and get you. Billy said you volunteered to feed Grandpa. Feed Grandpa, but Mom... Shh! We don't want Mr. Kravnick to know now, do we? You know they would just love to find out we've got Grandpa, and then they would pump him away. But, Mom, I'm in a hurry. I'm going to be late.
Mr. Hollowhead? What's humping? <laughs> well, I, I think you mean uh, pumping, Oliver, and the you you pledge goes like that. Now, come on in here and meet Mr. Crab, Mr. Crabnick. It's the new head of you you. Um, Oliver, this is Mr. Crabnick. Hello, sir. Say, did you read the imprint on Super Pneumatic Section in the Tube Times? Well, Oliver, who do you suppose developed that model? Wow. <laughs> So do you think we'll be running on bullet tubes soon? Just around the bend, Oliver. Smooth, Mr. H. I'll bet you can do it, too. Yeah, well. It's like I tell Cindy, where there's a will, there's a hollow head. Oh. <laughs> Who is he, Henry? Well, this is Oliver. No, hollow head. Read my lips. Who is he? Uh, uh, this is uh, Cindy's date. Is Cindy ready? Uh, yes. Uh, Cindy, Oliver's here. Well, Hollowhead, she may not have your bad timing, but she's certainly got your bad taste. Why, well, he's a real case of the squirts. <laughs> Hi, Oliver. Hi, Cindy. Ah, you look really nice. <laughs> this is for you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Let's flow. Bye, honey. Bye, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, honey. Have a nice time. <laughs> well, 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 if this isn't another happy home tied to United Umbilical. <laughs> a happy home, two kids. Oh, three. Three. You haven't met our eldest, Bud. He's our musical genius. Three. Three. Why, you're more of a man than I took you for, Henry. Of course, when you're married to a woman as enticing, as alluring. Um, um. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I walk in on some man talk? Uh, he, he, he was just talking about you, Miriam. Oh, Mr. Crabneck. Marty. Call me Marty, Miriam. Um, uh, m Mr. Crabneck was just... Well, as I was telling Henry here, I would do just about anything like you, Miriam. Oh, really? Mr. Kravnick? Uh, uh, uh. Marty. Right. <sighs> how's, how's, that, uh, how's that dinner coming, dear? Well, if you two will come to the table, I'll go and get Billy. I, uh, hope you're hungry, Mr. Kravnick. Hungry? Why, I'm famished. I could suck a waste tube from here to the edge. <laughs> Good. Good. We're all here now, so we can start. Um, speaking of tubes, would you believe I recorded 14,937 GPMs last shift. Some of those tubes were getting real hot. I find talking business at the dinner table awfully offensive, Henry. Don't you, Mir Miriam? Well, uh, Marty, sometimes I just don't understand all the talk about PMs, viscosity, all that technical talk, like what makes a tube hot? <laughs> You, Miriam. <laughs> <laughs> um, GPMs means gallons per minute, dear. Uh, viscosity is a measurement of how quickly a given fluid can pass through a certain size um, orifice. That can cause an eruption, Miriam. Uh, what, what makes our tubes hot is the, is the friction caused by the viscous fluid flowing through the uh, walls of the, of the tube. Hello, Head. I do believe you've embarrassed your wife. So what happens next, Dad? Well, the the uh, the uh, heat can cause a um um a rupture pretty soon, and and you've got and you've got fluid spraying everywhere. Love to. Of course, the equation changes depending upon the length of the tube. But that's not your department, is it, Henry? Oh, but it could be. You know, 
Henry is just a little bit quiet about his talents, <laughs> Mr. Crabneck. Uh, uh, uh. It's Marty. I'm sorry. I'm just not used to calling my husband's bosses by their first names. Don't think of me as your husband's boss. Think of me as... as a very close friend. Um... I, I believe you're the one who's embarrassing my wife, Marty. That's Mr. Kravnik to you. And who gave you permission to unplug your pipe, Meter Monkey? Well, dinner's over. I, I, I think it's time to leave. Seal it, screw top, before you're up a purge pipe without a paddle. Now, Henry, uh, I don't think that Mr. Uh, Marty really means it. I, I think he's kidding, that's all. He's just kidding. Uh, you wouldn't want to do anything to uh, lose your job, now, would you? I'm not going <laughs> to lose my job, Miriam. I've been with you, you, for almost 20 years now. I started in the waste department as a oh. reamer and spent shift after shift crawling through rust-encrusted pipes. Henry, please sit down. Dad? Uh, I, I, I think that Marty was just, um, kidding. Weren't you, Marty? May I serve you, Marty? Yes, I would love you to serve me, Miriam. Mmm, this looks delicious. Please forgive me, Miriam. I, I had a bad time at work. You see, the demand for tubes, why, it's overwhelming. We pump eight billion gallons through every station, and I, I am personally responsible for almost 16 million miles of tubes. What the pipes think am I talking about? Why, you must be bored stiff listening to us talk shop, Miriam. I know. I find Henry's work very interesting. Uh, yes. Why, uh, I was, uh, I was, I was just telling Miriam what would happen if only, uh, one of our pumping stations broke down. You mean like what happened just a little while ago? Are you trying to say in that half-formed way of yours that something is wrong with our tubes, young man? Some of Mom's tubes were blocked. Some of the lines were blocked? Yeah. Me and Joey had to go to the pumping station and complain to Station Monster Battle Axe. You complained? Why, you little bezoar! You're too lenient with your children, uh, Henry. Yes. Too many privileges. Children need discipline. You don't want them winding up as rationalists, do you? What's wrong with that? People should have the right to think what they want to think. I... What difference does it make? I'll tell you what difference it makes. United Umbilical was not founded by a bunch of low-life, sludge-sucking, rat-reaming rationalists. And if they were to find out that you lean even slightly in that direction, they'd cut your tubes off so fast, the only thing you could do is crawl into a two-line and flush yourself off the edge. I should know. My ex-wife was... was a... A rationalist? Didn't you know that when you married her? No, I married her because she was a sumptuous piece of throbbing flesh. What's that mean, Dad? Never mind, son. And because she looked good at company parties. What happened? It was at one of those very same parties that I found a leak in her main line. She was a rationalist, and I mean a real card-carrying member. She as much as announced it right there in front of the entire upper management of United Umbilical. Well, of course, I had no choice. You divorced her? Divorce is such an ugly word. I... I prefer dispensed. You must have loved her deeply. Often. But I'm a company man, and you know what kind of business this is, Miriam. It's a cruel business. A cruel, 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 cruel business. You never know what you're up against. That's why I have to maintain control at you, you. If you're going anyplace in our business, Henry, you have to be ramrod tough, ramrod. Nothing less will do. Now, you, Henry, you lack the substance, the real meat, your ramrod helper. 
Without me, you're nothing. I don't like your tone, Mr. Kradnick. Miriam, I plan on nothing less than blazing a trail right to the top of United Umbilico. What about Henry? 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 A promotion in you, you? Yes, me, me. I, I think I'm long overdue for a promotion. And after all, he is featured in the current issue of Tube Time. He's voted number one meter man in this section three times in a row. Yes, three times. yes, damn it, everybody knows I'm the best meter man in the business. Then why would anyone want to promote you? Yes, of course. That's right. If you're really good at your job, why would anyone promote you away from it? Now you're getting it, Henry. The fact is that our industry isn't for boys. It's a cruel business. You're a smart woman, Miriam. You understand that it's a cruel, cruel, cruel business. Cruel. Dad! Cruel business. So unless your husband can offer something more than his sterling qualities... Maybe I am too good for my job. <laughs> Show me what I can do. Saturate. <laughs> Mr. Kretnick, are you suggesting that if I... Mm, that Henry will... Mm, mm, Call me Marty Miriam. I could screw up the whole works. <laughs> It'll grow on you. Dad! Let me have it. <laughs> Come on, Miriam. You know you want it. Oh, I don't. No means yes. <laughs> Promote me. <laughs> Billy. Hey, where'd everybody go? <laughs> Hey, what's going on here? Mr. Kravnik, what the... What are you doing? Cap it before I stick you sideways through an eight inch. Nah. Oh. Come on, Miriam. Let me have it. You want it, Marty? All right, you've got it. Oh. Ah, ah. That's it, Hollowhead. No race for you. Well, I'm too good for your you, you. You just say the word, Miriam, and this guy's crap. Am I a late for waste, though? Yeah, get him, Dad. Take this. You remember what we talked about over dinner, Henry? Now I'm going to show you just how cruel this business really is. Did I kill him, Miriam? Is he dead? No. He's not dead? No, I mean, you didn't kill him. I did. I mean, I think I did. No, Billy, don't. Yep, he's dead all right. Got you, little skirt. Oh, my God. 
it! Starting tomorrow, your reaming pipe plots out of number nine. Miriam, I don't believe this. My boss is lying there on our kitchen floor, dead. Do you know what this means? It means I don't get my promotion. He has to okay it. Your promotion? Henry, what about your career? We just committed murder. If they find out, they'll throw us off the edge. There really is an edge? What about regeneration? Oh, Henry, that only works when they're still alive. Oh, hey, wait a minute. How do we know he's not still alive? We didn't check. If you want to go back in there and check, you go right ahead. Hey, I will. No, son. This is a job for the man of the house. <laughs> Should have done it. I'm gonna find out. He's still alive! How could he be? Well, he is. We can still save him. Save him? Are you out of your mind? He's sleaze. He tried to kill us. Yeah, Dad, he's muck. Really? Well, we can't let him die. We can't let him live. I suppose you're right. Ah! Somebody's coming. Quick! Quick! We can't leave him here. We can hide him in the kitchen. Good idea. Come on, give me a hand. Dad, what's humping? He's <laughs> totally liquefied. What do you mean? And how do you know? Bud, what's going on here? I uh, just got back from the party, Dad. Afraid my friend here may have had a little too much to drink. Oh, Bud, I really can't believe this. Oh, yeah, home. I had to come home, Dad. I couldn't stand that party. Why not, Bud? The new songs. The guys were right. They didn't work. They hated them. Oh, Bud, honey, I'm so sorry. No, Miriam. Whoa. Bud. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Bud, sit down before you fall down. Can't you hear me, Bud? What's wrong with you? Don't burst a pipe. Get some cold water, Miriam. What are we going to do? Dad, didn't you forget about... You know. Don't just stand there. Do as I say. Get some cold water. <sighs> I'll get it. No, Miriam, you get the door. I'm getting the water. Miriam, the door. Now. <sighs> Another critic. Mrs. Hollowhead? Yes, may I help you? Mm -hmm. Cindy! Uh, we thought it uh, best that we escort your daughter home. What, uh, what happened? Are you all right? Well, she was attending a party in which the uh, kids uh, found out a way how to uh, pirate into an extremely restricted feed line. Oh. And, uh, well, 
Your daughter uh, obviously has gone through some experimentation tonight. <laughs> Ma'am, if, if, if we could just bring your daughter into the house here. Oh, uh, uh, no. Pardon me? Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> my my house is in, in, in such a state. Couldn't you just leave her? <laughs> Everything okay in here? Um, well, I, uh, oh, well, I guess if you don't mind the mess. <laughs> Do, uh, just, um, make yourselves at home. Henry! What are we going to do? Let me handle this. Hello, officers. Good shift. Good uh, shift. What seems to uh, be the trouble? Well, uh, Mr. Hollowhead, uh, we had to bring your daughter home. Sir, uh, well, she and a bunch of her friends apparently tapped into a highly restricted uh, vapor feed source. How could that be possible? The shame of it is, no matter what we do, these kids, they're gonna find a way to get in. We uh, notified UU about the uh, illegal tap, and uh, we also notified them about the fact that there was minors under the influence. Influence? Your daughter and her friends apparently have been mixing vapors. Ah! Phew! Bless you, you. Excuse me. Thank you. Not now. Uh, you, not now. It was earlier. On. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you, sir. We found well over uh, two pounds of softening jelly on her. Two pounds? Miriam. Miriam. And also, there's some physical evidence that would uh, lead us to believe that uh, your daughter, well, um... She was, uh, she had been... severely compromised. Silly. My little angel foam, tell Daddy, do you know who did this to you? Oh, yes. I'll always remember. I mean, I don't remember all of them. Was Oliver a part of this? Oliver? Oliver. Oh, Oliver. Oh, no. He couldn't. <laughs> Oliver couldn't? Are we talking about one Oliver Digits? 17 brown hair, brown eyes, useless presence? That's right. Near overdose. He's all hopped up on the butt polish. When are kids gonna learn to just say no to butt polish? Oh, but fortunately, I have these two big, strong, wonderful policemen there to save me. Cindy, Cindy, honey, don't you think it's time that you were in bed? Cindy. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, thank you, officers. I, I think I can handle this now. Excuse me, sir. Um, uh, could you please explain to me why you and your wife are covered with some sort of tubal discharge? Oh. Oh. Um, I, well, uh, uh, we had uh, a, a ruptured valve that uh, uh, splat uh, spray came. Valve. Let's uh, just try that again. Well, no. Uh. No, I um. Oh, well, um, our son, Billy. Billy? He has one of those new games, you know, splat spray. But don't forget the ruptured valve, dear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> May uh, we see where the uh, ruptured occurred? No! Uh, 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 it's just that it's a mess. Besides, Henry works for United Umbilical as an authorized serviceman. Don't you, dear? What? Yes, that's right, I do. Yes. Well, could I see your identification then, sir? Oh, sure. Um... Oh. Okay, uh... You just might want to be a little more careful in the future there, Mr. Hollowhead. Oh, yes, thank you. I will. I will be. And, uh... This thing about your daughter, remember, the wellspring of uh, control lies within the father. Then it runs out. Cindy, 
Honey. Cindy. Cindy, sweetie, what are you doing down there? Uh, well, thank you very, very much for your time. Uh, you've been so kind. You must have children of your own. No, I usually have to buy them. <laughs> hey. Good shift. Good shift. Good shift. Your daughter, uh, she'll be fine. Uh, but for safety's sake, you'll probably want to have her drained. Drained? Wow, bud, you ought to hear this. Bud? I got you. <laughs> when are you kids gonna learn? They want to live life on the edge. They're going to. Did he ever come over for dinner? This has been the worst shift of my life. Oh, it hasn't been that bad, Mom. Yes, it has. Jeff didn't even show up at the party, and I had to feed Grandpa. Mom! Dad! That's it! Oh, hi, Marty. It's about time you two got up. I'm so upset with both of you. To think that my children would ever make me ashamed of them. Mom, just because Cindy got caught with all that softening jelly is no reason to take it out on me. But you spaced out son of a pie polisher. Cindy. Stop it, you two. I don't want to hear another word from either one of you. Or do you want us to start following children's home rules like other parents? Hi, Dad. Well, now, there's my boy. He's not your boy. I mean, he's your little man now. <laughs> it is so nice to have everything back to normal. Billy, I fixed your favorite. Brackish pudding again, Mother? It's still breathing. Breathing? That shows how little you know. That means it's not properly aged. Uh, when I was your age, bud, we were more interested in basic survival techniques. Yes, Henry, but things change. After all, you don't have to push everything through a tube by hand anymore. <laughs> it's a different world. Oh, that's true, dear. Now it just sucks by itself. Say, whose turn is it to feed Grandpa? Uh... Uh. We're all together, and we're a family. So let's all feed Grandpa together, huh? Meal time, Grandpa. I hope you're hungry, Mr. Crabneck. Dad, there's one thing I don't understand. Yes? Well, you know how you said it was bad to fight? Yes, I did. Did we do a bad thing to Mr. Crabneck? No, not at all, son. Do you remember what else we talked about? It's the blind man who follows the trail in the dark? That's right, son. Shift, Grandpa. And good shift to you, Marty. As it turned out, it wasn't a pipe dream after all. Dad finally got his promotion. He told me later it was all a matter of timing. The right place at the right time. As for me, I just go with the flow. <laughs> 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 